Hello guys, Brandon Carey here, and today we are going to play a game that I have not played before, although a lot of people I know have, and do very highly recommend it. It is called Monster Train. Now from what I understand, this is kind of a hybrid um, roguelike deck building game, and kind of in the vein of Saints Fire, but not exactly. Um, and it looks like the premise is that we are playing as a hell train trying to defend itself against angelic enemies. So we're going to see, uh, how we do. Your train is carrying precious cargo. The last remaining shard of the pyre needs to relight the fires in the depths of hell. In the ears of heaven, the winged, will do anything to prevent you from completing your journey. You must make wise decisions and build up a band of monsters. Having hope of success, good luck, Hellborn. Okay, so... Let us learn the mechanics of this game. Or so the heaven will attempt to restore the life of their companions. Okay, heaven's priests. This is your pyre. If it takes too much damage from enemy attacks, your run is over. Those level move up one level every turn. When they reach the top, they'll attack your pyre. Summon units to defend your train. You can make each unit card once per battle. Each floor of the train's limited capacity amount of space the unit will take up. Okay, so... This is already an interesting mechanic where we have to control, we have to consider what we play. Maybe we will end the turn. Okay, this is an interesting mechanic. So we have to carefully consider what we do, because if we take too much time, then our uh, opposition will just take us over. So we actually are like against uh, something of a clock. Nothing. No one's gotten hurt so far, so we can. Brief respite. Guess that means they won't attack this turn. Might as well. Oh, we have, we don't have any of our boys hurt. Oh no, we've we've got one hurt, so we'll heal heal you up. Okay. Def okay, now, okay, okay, here we go. So there's the boss. The combat will be continuing in his room until you or he is defeated. Okay, so he won't move up until our forces are, are dead. Might as well give our, use our AP to heal our unit while they're down. Oh, they're just gonna keep going. Okay. What the hell? Okay. So, this should finish it. Okay. Turn to boss rush. Collect. Piercing? That sounds good. To the front. Oh, this looks like a trap of some kind. 
Move that unit to the front. To a friendly unit, deal damage to that to the front enemy equal to ten times the amount, or to five times the amount healed. Okay. Interesting. Forge your units to gain new power. Your spells, 75. I get a Hellhorned unit. Okay, so we have... Huh. Upgrade a unit with plus 10 attack. <laughs> Turn its card. Okay, so endless basically gives lets you reuse that unit. These are strong upgrades. Apply. Result. Okay, so every turn they gain five armor. Plus two per stat decreases every turn. Rage. F okay, so they'll gain eight rage. They'll gain eight rage, but then they'll lose one attack each turn. Triggers apply. Okay, so when slain, you get more rage. Okay. Use spike. These spiked foes will make direct attacks more painful. Using spells from powerful to fight units. That's right. That's sacrificing your units. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't have any attack. Might as well play a unit up here while I still have it in my hands. I can make no further moves, so I pass. Alright, so he's hurt, so we'll heal him. And then we will play... And let's see where this goes. Okay, so they are getting stronger, though, which is good. Except I can't really use I can't really use any moves because now all of my own opponents are dead. I'm gonna torch you. Takes care of the spikes. Uh, might as well put the steward up here. Okay, this is the last one. Uh, I'll heal him up, sure. Damn! Okay, he's gonna lose 28 health, so might as well put one on you. No, keep going. The upgrades did a good job. The upgrades worked. Apply 10 rage. Deal five damage to enemy. Okay, just by summoning you get five damage dealt to enemy units. But after that, he's just a one one that does nothing. I think we'll skip for now. Apply three attack power and three health. Okay. 
Bosses are immune. Okay, this seems like a good. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Orange Mancer. Uh, this is my first time playing, actually, so I I am I am learning this game from scratch. Where's your spells? Gain a health for a unit. Well, I don't have any. My health, my power hasn't taken damage yet, so probably take this path. Oh, I fucked up. No, I didn't fuck up. We're good. Upgrade one spell to cost one mana less. A spell with plus 20 magic power and consume. To remove consume and... Okay. So what we could do... Is upgrade this. And then upgrade it to remove the consume. Okay, so that works. Now I have a 25 damage card. I yeah, I figure this is like a road like so like this is like say the spire, so it's just like the kind of thing where you have to um You just gotta have to figure out what you want. Uh, well, we did just get that uh Piercing 25 damage, so let's copy that. Heavily armored creations to protect this ex professor in his quest to safeguard Seraph and the wings. Okay, so let's keep going. Plate con constructed explosives with. Enter with damage shield. Okay. So he, he has a... Uh, he's kind of a grenade kind of dude. On that... Okay, he moves between floors freely. Despawn and deal 10 damage to your front unit. This is the start of the turn. Hmm. I don't have any, I don't have the piercing. Might as well just play. That has 10 armor, so he would resist this, and he would attack twice. So let's see if this actually does what I want to do. Nope, it doesn't do what I want to do. Oh, but it does do that. Not play anyone there. We'll heal up our boy. And we'll stock up this man. Oh, I guess man does get stocked up at the end of the turn, so. Let's pierce that. Okay, I think... Their attack power is going through the roof. Mm -hmm. 
This should do some big damage. See how it goes. Ugh, bummer. Okay. Might as well torch him a little bit. Oh no, that was gonna boost his power, so we don't wanna do that. We wanna torch. We might as well incinerate him a little bit. That's a bummer. That's not, that's gonna die. He's gonna die immediately, but. Not really in a good position right now. So we'll see what happens. Now we might be able to finish this out. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. That could have gone a lot worse. Reinforce double the amount of armor on a unit. Apply two times rage and two times armor. Three health and three spikes. Go with the health and the spikes. Summon gain 60 max health. Rejuvenate. When okay, when it's healed, it increases the okay. So when it heats healed. Increase the attack and health of the friendliest unit with the lowest health by the cult of... Okay, so it'll give... When it's healed, it will give the, the weakest unit two attack and health. Okay. It takes three slots, but it is a one mana... It is a one mana card. Attacks all enemy units. This seems useful. Okay, so we can choose enchantment to add to our pyre. We get this extra mana, we should be able to play um, to play that four drop demon we just drew. So I want to take that. Forge your units to gain new powers. Removing cards is usually a good thing in one of these games. That's a lot of money. You get no woken units, so that's. I am foregoing two benefits to d to remove two cards. I don't think that's worth it. So let's go this way. At least for now. That would be a strong demon fiend. But I wouldn't be able to play anything else on that floor. So we will go... with you... for now. Rage 7. Which one of you... Well, well, you will probably use more health since we do kind of need you. Move a card from deck. I don't have enough money to remove a card. That's fine. The Woken unit. Oh, the Woken is this green type. I will do the Husk Hermit. Sweep seems like a decent... And upgrade our champion. Q 
healing a death. Okay. That seems really good. We'll go this way. Oh, thank you for hosting, Ryvern. You upgraded champions, so let's keep going. Clipped Tormentors. They'll overload you with Pendulum and take him out quickly. Non boss enemy units get multi strike, additional effect, random artifacts. That seems worth trying for. Oh, no worries. Don't worry. Um, this is my. Uh, just. just um, you don't need to worry about being late. You don't have to worry about drawing stream at all. I'm just glad you're here. Um, this is my first time playing Monster Train, by the way, so we will. Uh, we're, we'll see how this goes. Seems worth trying. That's bad. Oh well. R.I.P. in peace. Alright, and that should kill you. Give you a little bit of health. I think he's gonna die, but sacrifices must be made. We'll add a little guy over here to help you out. This is my very first, uh, this is my very first run. Yeah. Well, it's worth doing that. And then... Uh, here... We'll give you some health. That, that's always helpful. Oh, here comes the boss! Okay, so a brief refresh always comes before a boss fight. That's good to know. I might as well put that there. Yeah, this thing is not surviving this. Oh well, goodbye. Okay, so let's try... Oh, I did a lot of damage, though. And this should finish it off. There. 
There we go. One turn boss rush. Trial bonus. Alright, so we did pretty well. That was a good run. Friendly units get plus three health. Collect. Mmm. Apply three rage to friendly units. Or deal five damage to enemy units. I don't know what STS, um, A5 or A10 mean, so I'm going to have to take your word on that one. Uh, the boss reaches the pyre room, you get a zero round bonus. Okay, so the one turn noise means I, I beat him before he got to the pyre. To the pyre. Okay, that's what that means. So, oh. Oh, slay the spire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there are, there are, I, I've. I've played so much Slay the Spire that I, I didn't even know that was what you called it in the... Um... I don't think I want any of these. I want to keep my deck... Hmm... Can fly... Fly... Regen... I want to pass on these two, for now. If you don't want too many cards in a game like this, you want to be able... What's my pyre health? My pyre health could still could use the healing. Uh, and removing cards from the deck is not a bad thing. Oh, I don't have enough for these, but I do have enough to remove a card from the deck. These torches are doing me nothing. <laughs> Let's get my Pyre health up, and let's remove some more of these Torch cards, because they are, again, doing me nothing. And we should be able to fight this battle. Non-boss enemies restore all health when they move up the floor for a ra No, that's, that's not worth it! That's not worth it! Overcharge tank. Your train, use spells and higher floors to take them out. My target in combat for the next turn. We'll place a little bulwark here. We will kill you off. <laughs> oh well. I see why, uh, why Sweeper would be useful here. But, um, to answer your question, I love deck builders. I've played, um, I have played so much Slay the Spire. That's not even funny. Well, we're gonna... Looks like these Torch cards are actually going to be useful. Who would have thought it? Oh, he's gonna reach my spire, my pyre, which is not great, but oh well.
Damn. I do have Banners of Ruin. I haven't played much of it, but I do have it. So we have a brief respite, which means time to heal you up. And set some units to do some work. Oh, that was a bad, that was an idiot move of mine. But this should hurt a bit. Okay, that just that just wiped up my units entirely. We're gonna torch you. Spikes is going to help with this, but yeah, this is going to hurt quite a bit. I don't think we're going to lose this fight, but we're going to hurt after the end of it. Yeah, we're going to hurt. The Pyre is going to be in pain after this. Yeah, this is going to be painful. No, we might actually lose. Yeah, this is this might be it. Yeah, this might be game. Yeah, this is game. Damn. That was nasty. Moving into the front and apply 10 armor. Hell yeah. Summon a Billy Sugar additional time? Hell yeah. Whew. Well, that wasn't a bad first run, though. That could have been a lot worse. Okay, so these are all the different units I can acquire over my runs and how my progress towards unlocking them. Well, start over. Might as well choose... Might as well keep going with this until I get some new ones. Oh, what is my champion for... Actually, let's see what my champion is for... The sentient restore two, two health. Apply one regen. Okay. But it's just a zero ten with no stats. Well, in that case, this is just better because it has an attack power. Unless it upgrades to something useful. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, upgrade your champion. Hmm. Deal 20 damage to the front enemy unit whenever I heal her. Or... Draw an extra card at the start of each turn. I feel like this is going to end up being more useful overall. Artifact. 
When a card with consume is played, deal three damage to the front enemy unit. Well, I I really don't want to consume cards. Apply daze to enemy units when they enter the room b below the pyre room. Okay, that's that sounds very useful. So let's start. Rebellion units appear on each floor? No, I'm not gonna start with that with that as a trial. No, we're not doing that. Okay, this is a, okay. This regen thing is actually doing quite a a bit, um, way more than I thought it was going to. And no one needs healing, so I might as well just do that. I uh, will just burn you. Okay, that was uh okay, that's a pretty good start. That's a pretty auspicious start to our run. Let's see. Steel enhancer. Applying spikes to our champion seems like it'd be a pretty good combo. I'm gonna go with sharpen. And being able to apply armor to her could also help. Spells, and this is a Hellhorn unit. So we can get more spells and coins. And more powerful units. We have 10 attack. And... We'll purge a torch. Okay. That's- that's fair. That's- that- I can understand that. That makes sense. You want to get your units before you get your upgrades. Well, I didn't actually make much use of you because of your four costs last time, so I'm not going to fall into that trap again. Um, rage on friendly units adds additional three attack per stack. That seems good. I yeah. I, I, every Wednesday, I like to play a game that is like one of those unfinishable games, Wyvern, and this happens to be one that was on my docket of things I wanted to try out, which is why we're playing it now. But I, I do I I tend to love streaming rogue likes and those like like I I love streaming Hades, for example. Hades is one of my favorite games to stream these days, because you can just t stream for an hour, do a run, and see what happens, and usually something awesome happens. And units enter with 10 armor for a unit draft. That might actually seem worth it. That actually seems like that'd be worth it this early in the game. So let's give that a try. Because I'm doing a lot of damage with my champion. I'm not going to get any rage for any for this battle, but 
Might as well put you here for now since you have a lot of stats. Ironically, I can use a torch right now. Oh, we have so much armor. Ew. Oh well. The uh, the pyre will take care of you once you get up there. That's fine. See how this goes. This is doing pretty good. This champion is doing a lot of work. Consume, apply regen 5. Regen 5 seems like it'd be worth it for our commander. Ascend a unit. Move it up a floor into the back of that floor. Mm. Gain 40 max health. Rejuvenate, gain two spikes. Let's get this Husk Hermit in here. Ah, uh, the Hellhorn Hero being the weakest would make sense given what we just went through. Alright, so we can choose an artifact and extra Pyre Hell, which we don't actually need. Or a Merchant of Steel for new powers. <laughs> this seems worth it. And we can give a unit 10 more attack power. That seems worth it. And the Branded Warrior did some work last time, so we'll keep him around. Okay. Upgrade a unit. Oh, we can sacrifice our Pyre health. What does Heartless mean? Cannot be healed. No, that's useless. When your pyre kills a unit, restore five pyre health. That seems good. That seems good for longevity. Yeah, given our 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 build focuses exclusively on healing, not being able to heal would basically destroy this entire thing. Enemy has to deal with Rage 2 and Talos attacks every turn and gains armor on Slay. The Architect's the Exodus attacks blindly and gains protection from each unit she slays to take her out quickly. Okay. This seems potent. Okay. I'm wrong. 
there's a champion, looks like. Well, goodbye, champion. That really sucks. We're gonna lose already. This run just started. Playing him would only kill him. Wow, this is bad. Okay, actually this might not be the worst thing on Earth to happen. Because she is killing herself. Oh, that was actually fine! I stand corrected, that was actually perfectly fine. Draw a unit and apply plus 20 attack, 20 health, and zero extra cost. That's worth it. Mm. I think we'll pass on these. Maybe I kick the Awoken Hollow? You get plus one per turn, your power gets 10 attack and plus 30 HP. Honestly, I want more mana. Yeah, salad to uh, salad OP. That's a lot of boons on this half. You card accept your champion. And then we get an upgrade of our champion. Okay, no, we get three upgrades per path. For each path. Being able to throw away some cards right now would be pretty useful. I'm gonna throw away these torches. I'm gonna throw away one of these stewards. More plants! We'll skip this one, actually, and just take the money. Deal 40 damage to the front enemy unit. Mm. Or keep doing 20, but whenever I'm damaged, draw an extra... Cultivate one and then draw one. Kind of just, I almost want to just go for straight up damage. But cultivate seems like a pretty useful ability. I always go for damage. We'll go for damage. Let's see. Non boss enemy units restore all health when they move up before. We have a sweeper, so that might actually be worth it. Uh, okay, okay, all of these seem... Clipped Guardian seems like it'd be a problem, actually. Clipped Guardian will be a problem to kill if we let him, um... 
run rampant like that. So we're going to just keep going. And I'll try your advice, Wyvern, and put our champion at the top. See how that does for us. Since healthy boy here has a big butt, we're going to, uh... We're going to put him in the front. We're going to heal you. Okay, and we'll see what happens. We'll pierce. And... This should... Boost our guy over here. And we'll play Husky Boy in front of our champion. Yeah, this is doing a lot more more work than the last build was by a country mile. Holy shit! Holy shit! This is doing me. This is doing the work. For, okay, we're all full, so I can't actually play this. But it's an amusing thought. Uh, so... I guess we'll just torch. Might as well do something with this mana. I would like some regen. There we go. capacity to kill the other, but this is going to do 190 damage before this fight is over. We're in a good position, so let's just, I guess, I guess I could torch it to do a little bit. Um, let's, let's, let's play this out. Should be enough. Oh, I should have played those. Okay. Apply quick. Attacks before enemy units during combat. That's useful. That'll be useful for our sweeper because we can knock out a ton of uh, a ton of enemies before they get a chance to actually attack. That'd be useful. A random consumed spell to your hand. Apply three rage. Pop 
higher health, new spells, or upgrades to spells. Uh, I think we should start seeing if we can upgrade some of our healing spells. What does double stack mean? Status effects are doubled. And then we will remove that extra cost. 20 magical power and consume. Yeah, I, I, I did, I, I did see this energy where putting the, both the Hellhorn units on would be, um, good, but I, at the time, I just didn't, I didn't, they were in d different turns, so I just didn't think about it, um, I think I actually don't, I actually pass on this, but maybe we purge. <laughs> One of our torch, or one of our stewards from our deck. For <laughs> oh. higher health and gain more coins. Keep going. Start a battle units appear on each floor. Okay, so that not that's not worth the coins. Maybe it is. Maybe it is actually worth the coins. It only happens the at the start of combat. Apply armor to her. Oh, I should hydrate. Um, I'll do that in a second. Let me get a bottle of water real quick. I'll be right back. I didn't even see that my, um, ragey boy only has five health. Whoopsie. Fine. I don't get to heal first. That's a bummer. 
Hmm. Probably should have just uh, played that in in front so he died quickly. Oh well, don't have to worry about that now. Might as well throw a steward up here, I guess. I'm not doing anything else. You're already enraged. <sighs> oh, wow. Okay. Might as well play him. I don't see a reason to keep playing these cards, so let's just see what watch what happens. Wow, okay. Okay, this is doing work. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You're right. You're right. I probably should have just um hit force the boss a little bit. I just didn't think damage would be worth it. But you're right. I guess it's better than just doing no damage at all. Um, that's extra money. That's good. Add three sting spells to your hands. Restore 25 health, draw two next turn. That seems like a useful card. Union to the front and apply 10 armor. Summon, gain... F I'm not going to need that much mana in a turn. I think I'm just going to... I'm going to get this much of shields. Take care, Orange Mancer. Have a good night. Artifacts, duplicate any card. Concealed at caverns. Let's go this route. Guilty damage never moves between fours. All friendly units gain two unit two attack on slay. That's going to be useful. Let's see, who do we duplicate? Or what do we duplicate? Probably this double stack regen. See what this offers. Or your wealth may be rewarded. 
I'll throw some money in there, see if we get something. Sure. Standard unit cards. Stewart unit cards get okay. Sure. Let's make those you those stewards actually halfway passable. Oh, I turned the camera off. Is that it? I'm not. I didn't want to um, show myself getting a drink of water. That was my bad. I forgot to turn it back on. Let's see. Fells the wings of light. The clipped warrior has become winged once more, creating statues in her former image to block your assaults. Numbers Guardians have Spell Shield 5, Fell Armor, Fell Empowers Units with Armor. Okay. So let's see how this works. Well, let's throw the Sweeper here. This is my first time meeting Fell, yes. Mm. Well, we might as well throw Sweepy Boy here as well. Let's see how this goes. That is going to give him some power, but that's fine. My thinking is that although she does do 40 damage per, per turn, what what might make it worth keeping her where she is is the fact that um she heals herself each turn so she's a constantly regenerating her her health True. Although I, I would, the idea was the idea in my mind at the time was the damage, um, the regen will offset the damage that she's being dealt, so she will ultimately keep that train rolling. We'll give you quick.
But you're right, it probably would have been smarter to keep the, um... The tough boys... ...in the front. I'm gonna focus... ...on you for now. That's obnoxious. Um, well, I can't really apply any of these cards. We could use a little damage to the boss. Uh, these torches. The more I, I have them in my hand, the less I ever want to see them in my in my hand ever. Uh, so we'll. This armor is obnoxious. We'll heal. Because I can't do anything else, you'll just get scratched for a little bit. At least we're actually in no real danger of being hurt. And in fact, we are doing extremely well. Uh, yeah, let's just start with that. I don't know how much... Oh, that's that's just lethal. That's just gonna kill her. Okay. I forgot how much power that thing had. <laughs> Didn't even make it off the top floor, or off the bottom floor. Restore a unit, a friendly unit to full health? Yes, please. Okay, I have enough mana right now. What I need right now is capacity. Alright, so... Money... Merchant of Steel... Either way, we upgrade our champion. I I want to try to get rid of some of these cards. So you want to get rid of these torches. See, now these stewards are, are halfway competent, so I don't want to get rid of them anymore. Enemies get minus one attack. Your pyre gets... Why one attack is useful? Could give our pyre more health too. That's useful. Two percent chance to remove all the buffs. And let's see what this is. What random event that is. Stealthy. Slay. 50 go coins. Hmm. Yeah, Heaven's Gold seems good. Extra extra attack when we have a sword quest of gold is not worthless. Um, let's see what our upgrades allow. Oh, okay. Let's just do more- more damage! More damage! Always more damage! Always higher numbers! 825 attack. Okay. I'm just gonna make extra- extra attack for 400 coins. Uh, Multi-strike. Slay. Hmm. 
I don't know if that's wor that extra coin is worth. Although that would also end up being four hundred or forty extra attack for. No, I don't want people getting up to fire. So let's just let's just go with what we have. Um. This is not an ideal opening hand. I might forego my first four entirely right now because that that is shit. That's some dog shit luck. Um Yeah, we're going to go we're going to forego the top four entire the first four entirely right now and just focus on Building up the other floors, cause ah, uh, that that is that's some dog shit luck. Okay. Swift will help quite a bit. some armor. We'll torch you a little bit. Ways remaining four, okay. Channel. Hmm. I think we'll stop for now. We will... We'll put some armor in front so that someone else takes the hit. A brief respite. Than you. All right, time for boss man. All right, we this is useful. Okay. 
We'll apply some regen to you because you need it. I mean, I don't think they're going to win this fight, but they're going to get damn close. Oh no, they just win. Okay. That uh that went well. This is going much better than the last run did. Uh plus 1. Okay. Consume, draw 3 next turn. Hmm. Gain one uh, and draw one next turn. I'll take this. Okay. Uh, to friendly and enemy units. Sacrifice an imp to gain two mana and draw a card. That's a good card to keep. Hellvent. Duplicate any cards of the champion. Merchant of Tricks. This seems like useful. Because uh, we want to duplicate some of the good cards in our deck that fully restore our units. I even have a card I can play this on. Oh. I think we're good for now. And we will remove this final torch. And I think we can safely probably move one of the restores. Since we have just better healing spells at this point in the game. Looks like we're almost at the end, though, so let's see. I know it's up to two, but definitely you want to take advantage of that when you can. The Great Traitor. Attacks initial time. Okay, so he's got a lot of health. This is the final. This is the fi This is the final round. Okay, this is fine.
You just wipe three restore? I don't know what you mean. Oh, okay. Hmm. Piercing consume. Oh, it eats the first spell I cast each round. So... Bye. And... Okay. This is already consumed, so... Okay, so we'll give you a shield and consume that. That guy's gonna go through, probably, and attack my pyre, but that's fine. That's fine, okay. Two ways remaining before the finale. Okay, so Rage gets consumed automatically, so let's just cast that and deal with that. Fully heal you. And fully heal you. And we'll give you a little bit of health. To cope. And yeah, we'll cast a shard. We can play the steward. No, we can't. It's too much. No enough room. Hmm. Bliss is already consumed, so we'll just play that now. We will sharpen you. And that should be enough for now. Yeah, the big plant's doing a lot of work. This is the last wave. Yeah, we'll apply that regen 5 to you. You could use a full healing. Mm. 
This is not going to kill him, but it's going to get damn close. Yeah, this is not going to kill you, but it's going to get damn close. Oh well, bye champion. You did your perp. You did your job. All right. Uh yeah, It's about time I consume this sharpen. Sure, we'll give you regen, and we'll just fully heal you. And that's about all I got, but that should be enough. I know I can skip this round, but, you know, resources. Bye! Farewell. Ta-ta. I think that's a win. Oh, so he won in our first stream. Congrat- con Yay me! Uh, Covenant Rank 1 allows you to opt into higher challenge levels and start mastering cards on victory. Covenant Rank is every time you win a run at your highest unlocked rank. Okay. So that's heat, essentially, is what I'm reading. That is basically Heat from Hades. Let's get... Apply 10 attack and minus 2 health. When the unit is healed, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to the amount healed. Damage to the front enemy unit. Serve mana between turns. Alright. I think for now... Oh, it looks like... Okay, I see. I see all my Steam friends here who have been playing this game. And how high their Covenant ranks are. I see you, Jaren, with your 23 ranks in this game. But... I think for now that's a good place to call it. This is fun. I will probably play this sometime either on stream or on my own. Maybe even both. Um, but for now, take care, guys. Remember, uh, black lives matter. Trans lives matter. And all lives cannot matter until black lives or and trans lives matter. Wear your mask. Social distance. Wash your hands. Um, and stay safe. Uh... Yeah, I should, I'm, I'm, I'll give another like another mode a try, Hell Rush a try, um, if we ever stream this again, which we probably will, because this is a pretty easy game to keep my computer. It's not very big. Um, but until next time, have a lovely evening. Bye.